What's up guys, the Code Monkey 99 here with you today to show you a little Tinker's Construct general tutorial. But the main thing we're going to try to be focusing on here is how do we get these little casts of gold? That is the big question. How do we even get those? Because I remember being stuck on this for 10-20 minutes before I finally looked it up online. So basically what we're going to do is we're just going to make a tool rod cast. So first we need to get our tool rod pattern out of our part builder with our pattern chest above it, of course. And so we have our pattern in here. So how do we build the first pattern? Just put a piece of wood in there and it'll come out with a wooden tool rod for you. And now that you have your wooden tool rod, you can go ahead and use that to make your cast. But we have to pull out the stick that comes with it. <laughs> and we can go ahead and put this pattern back in our chest. And now that we have this, all we have to do is take it over to our big furnace smelter <laughs> over here. And what we're going to do is we're going to set us to the bottom so we have gold there to make our casting. And all we have to do is turn on this little seared faucet. And once it's done, it's going to farm up around it. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Here we go. Alright, so now that it's completely full, we can go ahead and take out our little wooden tool rod. <laughs> I wanted to say stick, but it's not what it is. So we're going to take out our little wooden tool rod, and now we have our tool rod cast. And all you have to do is use that gold, and then you have your cast. So let's say we want uh, an iron one. We can just go ahead and put that there, and then that'll firm up, and then bam. We got an iron tool rod. So, pretty simple, all really easy. And uh, after you have this, you know, you can just do that same thing and then build um, a like pickaxe head and some binding. It also says what you need over here, which your handle in this case is a tool rod. So, you just put a tool rod there. But it's pretty simple. And then, you know, you just build whatever pickaxe you want and it comes out really nicely. So,. Just put that all back in there. As you can see, I already have all these gold and whatnot. Um, for instance, let's go ahead and to our ME system back here and pull out one of the pickaxes that I made. Uh, gosh dang it. <laughs> um, we have this one, this one, and this one. So we have this one that has reinforced <laughs> times two auto repair times two 50% plus durability plus 500 and this one has luck and haste and durability and auto repair uh, this one has sharpness and auto repair so I mean you can really get a lot done with this you know see how fast it mines in comparison <laughs> just goes right through it no problems <laughs> So, it's nice to have these, but, you know, enchanting them, all you have to do is, uh, if you want to do it, you just go, yeah, you just click it, it'll be the first page that pops up, and you'll throw your little pickaxe in there, and then you can put whatever little enchant you want in there, and, uh, the moss equals out to your, uh, auto repair, the emerald is 50% plus durability, and the diamond is 500 plus durability, and if you have the emerald first and then put the diamond in, it will readjust that 50%, so it doesn't really matter what the what end that goes in, so, and then your luck, of course, uh, will be your lapis, and then your redstone will be your speed, diamond's durability again, and then moss is auto repair, and then to get your sharpness, it's just quartz, and then moss is your auto repair again. So that's a quick little tutorial on Tinker's Construct. There's not really a lot to it. It's pretty simple. And you can basically learn what everything does just looking at this. And it will give you little explanations of what they are. So that was just a quick tutorial on Tinker's Construct. Thank you guys and have a good day.